Hey, hey, it's me. <laughs> um, yes, I'm in my craft room. Uh, it's um, unbelievable in here, ma'am or sir, whoever's watching. Um, uh, I thought I'd show you a few things I dragged home from Michigan. Um, uh, it's a very interesting conglomeration of stuff. Um, uh, my, uh, sister lives in my mom and dad's house, um, now, and, um, so whatever she didn't know what to do with, she put in the den and where my dad's desk was. And my father was a hoarder and, um, I mean, his boots from World War II are in his office. I mean, what do you do with boots from 1944 that your dad wore to walk across Europe? Do you throw them away? Do you keep them? I mean, it's like, it's really, really difficult to make these decisions, so... But I did bring home a few things that I thought I could use to my crafting that have nothing to do with um, family memorabilia except for this. This is, I found this, um, this is my mom's handwriting which absolutely kills me to look at. But it's one of my absolute favorite desserts that my aunt used to make. And um, it's a, that's how far it goes. But it's fantastically delicious and delightful. So I took that home. That's going to go into my recipe book because I need to make that. Um, my mother saved every single card possible. And so we had to go through and get rid of stuff. I did take a few things. Um, mainly, like, this is one I sent her for Mother's Day. Um, but I'm going to... And stuff like this and... Um, this is really cool. This is like vintage. This is, um, this is when my parents got married. So, um, also my mother collected cards. She had a lot of friends. She had a lot of church friends. And so there was a lot of greeting cards and, um, just, they go on and on and on. It's just absolutely craziness. So, yeah, and the envelopes, got the envelopes too, and um, so I have tons of cards, tons, tons and tons and tons, so if I don't like them, um, I can uh, rip them apart, you know, like, that's gorgeous, Blue Jay. I mean, there's some really beautiful cards in here, some of them are like, you know, I like all of them, actually, because I picked through the ones I want, and I left my sister with the ugly ones. Look at that envelope. <laughs> it's pretty. And, see, there's cards, so on and on and on. This is, this is going to take forever, so. Oh, that's a Christian book I wanted. So, like, some of them, if um, they were, like, people I didn't know, I, like, ripped off the back and I saved this because I thought they would be cute to use. Here's a really beautiful tree. Here's another card for my parents' um, wedding, believe it or not. 65, that's pretty cool. I saved this card because it was just so adorable. I'm sure this is from the 60s. 66. This was a really cool map. Um, my parents on their honeymoon went to um, Washington, D.C. And it's um, it's just a piece of the map and I thought it was really cool looking. So I kept that. Oh, here's some envelopes. Apparently, my mother was into scrapbooking and I didn't know. So, uh, I left a lot with my sister, but I also took a whole pile of um, some scrapbook paper. She didn't have pa she didn't have a lot of pattern paper. I think this one, and there's a couple other pieces, like maybe two or three, but mainly they're um, plain cardstock. Um, I left some with my sister. Um, I took some, so I never knew that. I I knew that she had done a few things, um, but. We found one scrapbook that she had filled up uh, when they uh, redecorated the house. 
But, um, I don't know, maybe it was just a passing fancy for her. I have no idea. So, uh, this was, my mom also always made jam every year, and she would buy, um, uh, Christmas fabric, and then she would put it on top of the jar of jam and then put the lid down so it'd be all like cute and foo foo. So there's a whole bunch of fabric. These are in circles. My mom had a thing for snowmen. She absolutely loves snowmen. So I took those home. Um, thought they'd be cool. Um, I found this. Never been used. It's a photo album. I really like it. It's, it's actual wood on both sides. Thought I'd mess around with that. Uh, this was my dad's. I took that. Um, I thought this was super cool. It says Puppies Cigarettes, a short smoke, blend Havana blended, and um, that's what it looks like on the back. My dad smoked. My grandpa Holmberg smoked, so I'm sure it's one of the others. Um, so this was a, it looks like. Um, this was a toy of mine. I had my dad had a 36 John Deere tractor when I was growing up. This is the wristband my mom wore when I was born. I don't I don't know what to do with it. Should I keep it? Should I throw it? I just you don't know. I I don't. Here's a teeny tiny jackknife. I mean it is itty bitty. It took me. It says like. I don't know what it, it Geronimo on it or something. Um, I opened it up in Michigan. Trust me, it's a tiny little jackknife. It's just minute, so I don't. It's going in the box. And then my father, on a small scrap of paper, wrote down my mom's birthday and that she had proposed to him on March second, nineteen sixty-five. Yes, my mother was not one to wait around. <laughs> The sewing stuff. I When I was in Michigan before last August, I took some of the buttons home, but I didn't want to be greedy. So um, when I was up there again, Christy's like, do you want these buttons? She goes, I only really want like a handful of white ones in case I need to do a repair. I'm like, okay, you know. So I took them all. There's all sorts of buttons. There's weird trim in here. Um, there's buttons, like I said. This one I thought was cool. No idea what it is. It has like metal on it and stuff. Maybe people wore it. Ooh, ooh, almost dropped it. That wouldn't have been good. So I took all of those, and I took all of these random snaps. I mean, just, there's just random snaps. Um, there was a lot of them. In fact, I did not take them all because I couldn't understand what you would do with a million random snaps, but, um, but I did take a few of those. I took this gigantic, well, it's not gigantic, but I took this big bag of thread. Um, there was thimbles all over the place. I took a few of those. Um, oh, this I thought was kind of cool. Um, it says, it has a Bible verse on it on both sides, He careth for you. And then it's um, made by Zondervan, so it was a Christian bookstore. And then you open it up, and it's a little book. So, very, very interesting. Got some ribbon. This is a pin cushion. Oops, excuse me. I'm a, a pin cushion, I'm assuming, is my one of my great aunts, Becky, Hazel, or Selma. Don't know whose it was, but it's now mine. And it has a lot of pins in it, so took that home took this home thought it was cute uh, just a decoration my sister is not into knickknacks or tchotchkes or whatever I got this I took this home for my Christmas village unfortunately in shipping I lost an antler but 
I'll put it this way. He'll be fine. So, um, between the stuff I bought and the stuff I dragged home, I have a lot of organization. And this is not um, just all that I brought home. I mean, I have a giant box in my bed of family photographs to go through. And here's another thimble that some gal got tossed over there. So... But anyway, I'll be back. I have one other kind of fantastic crafty thing that I want to show you. And yeah, so bye.